These I got from Depop. This I also got from Depop. Uh, these earrings, same deal. Um, i been trying to mix them up a little bit. This t-shirt is from a band I really like, Maria's. These shoes I got at a Famous Footwear. Cause I was riding a bike, I put on jeans. You know, these are G-Star jeans. Got some Nikes I had gotten for sale. And then this shirt is a uh, silver regime. So I like the, the color of the shirt. I like the little accents on it. Got the Levi trucker jacket. I got the LA fitted. These earrings, thrifted. This, also thrifted. These, I've had since like, God, I don't know when, middle school. And these, I got them at Buffalo Exchange in Philly. The rings, um, this one's matching with my boyfriend. And then this one I got in Rhode Island, back home. Um, this hat, uh, bucket hat is denim. It's from, it's this Punta Cana. I got it out of my mom's closet. This windbreaker, uh, got it from Miss Chafee. Uh, when I went to boarding school, Nike sweatpants, old beat ass, um, white Air Force Ones, uh, and the shirt has a nice little rose on it. I would describe my style as like a a hood minimalist. I would say pretty uh, pretty minimal, pretty pared down a lot of the time. I kind of try to dress like a Polly Pocket most of the time, or like a Barbie. Pretty laid back, pretty casual. Um, and I just kind of like to try new things. I like to, I don't know, switch up my moods. Like some days when I feel really like antisocial, I like to wear stuff that's very obscuring for my face, like cover my whole body up. I've been trying to kind of stray a little bit more into the whole androgyny thing lately. I'm in a weird spot with it now. I'm really trying to update my, my sense of style a bit, uh, find some new references. Um, days when I'm feeling open, like I like to wear, you know, I like to like feel loose. I like to think I'm handsome, so it's like, you know, you balance, you balance regular fashion with a handsome face and you got a great look. The most underrated part of, part of a fit is probably the pants. I'd say the most underrated part of a fit is rings. The most underrated part of an outfit are definitely the accessories. I think there are two, um, pants and jewelry. I love utility. Like that's one thing about me, that's my verbal rising. I love that shit. So the most underrated part is pockets. Accessory matching and dress shirts. It's very easy to put on a lot of jewelry, um, but it's very hard to put on the right jewelry. I think especially for guys, they don't realize how powerful putting one or two rings on is. I think a lot of guys' fashion is in the details, and I don't think they realize that. I think um, anytime for me, like the accessories, like whatever necklaces or like the rings or stuff someone has on, really, really what's in the outfit over the top. A lot of people talk about their shirts, but the pants are really, really important. Using, using shirts in a really weird way and like layering them. I think is oftentimes like pretty underrated. Shirt and pants are, are cool, but like a hat, uh, anything else will like really make the fit pop. You can just do like, I don't know, like three statement rings and then like a nice pair of kicks and you're done for the day. Like everyone would be like, that's the next Harry Styles. I wouldn't say it's underrated, but I do think people, I guess kind of forget about it. I think shoes are really important. Um, like they set the entire tone of an outfit. All right, so we're in my room right now and I'm gonna show off some of my kicks. One of my favorite uh, silhouettes of the Jordan brand, the 11s. There's the 25th anniversary colorway, uh, the Jubilees. They have this uh, metal Jumpman logo, patent leather, um, and it's just crispy. Two, the Jordan one, another one of my favorites. These are the Jordan 1 mochas, brown on the suede, black on the toe, and white everywhere else. Another silhouette of the Jordan 1, those are highs, these are mids. These are part of the Fearless pack, actually my first pair of Jordans. And it comes with this limited edition uh, little tag, which says limits like fears are often just an illusion. The paper says the same thing, limits just like fears are often just an illusion. The Maison Chateau Rouge. I love these. They look like Woody from Toy Story. Um, and the tag has the, the fear with the cross through it. The other side says limits just like fear are often just an illusion with Michael Jordan's signature. Definitely one of my favorite kicks. And the most important sneaker 
in any New Yorker's collection has to be the all white Air Force One. I wear my Air Force Ones, but very, very sparingly. They're a little bit dirty. I gotta clean them up a little bit. Preferably you have like two to three pairs in your collection. One that you wear often, one that you wear on special occasions, and one that you never wear. That's like your little backup pair. Um, I only have one pair though. You know, I don't got it like that to have three pairs of uh, Air Force Ones, but these are an essential sneaker. Uh, this is my work overalls, but this is like one of my more comfortable stuff. Old work shirt, one of my Theo's old work shirts. Um, I really like it because of the details on the sides. My jacket from Ivy Leaf Farms, Houston, um, supported by the, the Ivy Foundation, I think Beyonce's foundation. Black owned farm, these are my golf shoes. Um, I don't know what their name is, but these are my homegirls. Bobby pins, because you never know when you need some bobby pins. I got my, my work tool. Any Danny work to a multi purpose. An Imperacord and other strings because you never know when you need some to tie some shit up. So I'm wearing this jacket. Um, I think it's it's a Lee vintage jacket. I got it from uh, Grailed. This necklace, I got it from a uh, street, street side vendor in New York. This shirt is just a basic shirt from HM. It is a uh, Paxson jeans. I think they're biker jeans or something. Rings and jewelry from, from thrift stores. Uh, yeah, it's mostly thrifted uh, outfit. I would like. No idea what the sweater is. Uh, I just found it on a thrift store. It's Carlo Colucci. It's a shirt from Ross, no brand. Um, got some Dockers cargos and then my ones that I also got at Ross. And then I got a Seiko automatic watch. I have this plain, like, white racer back tee. I'm from Garage. New Balances, a faux fur coat because protect the animals. And then I have a 76ers ball cap because it's Sixers playoff season. And then I have this Sharon necklace, um, custom made by my jeweler. I'll describe myself as uh, I wear whatever the fuck feels good type shit, I don't know. I feel like I don't have a style. Sporty chic. I think I tend to lean towards cuts as opposed to patterns and textures and stuff like that. Like I like to be comfortable, but also very cute. I definitely find inspiration from just random shit mainly nature. A lot of my TV shows, I'm, uh, I used to watch a lot of cartoons and shit growing up. I guess I like to mix like tech wear with, and like more avant-garde stuff like Kanye stuff and like future wear with like a little bit of retro stuff. I just love everything like cute, but sporty, comfortable, um, but fashionable. I think everyone at Heaverford really does have their own unique style. I think I've met a lot of really interesting people with very unique styles. Fiona Gowan, or Gowen, I don't really know how to say her last name, but um, she's tall, very goth. Every outfit, every day is fire. Ali Ho, Aliana Ho, always got, got it down. I really like my friend uh, Emma Clayton's style. Um, they have a super cool, very different sense of style from me, which I really, I really appreciate. Probably Bo. Uh, Bo has some pretty good trip. There's me, of course. I really like Izzy's style. <laughs> Shout out Izzy. There's Luke Shepard. He is a lot of fashion. Little pink-haired kid. Um, awesome. Uh, really any black person on campus. Lorelai, definitely. Intuom really wants me to say him, but I don't know if he's up there yet, to be honest. Uh, but he's getting there, he's getting there. My boy Juan. Juan definitely has a, a few cool pieces that I really like. Uh, he has like this BMW like crew neck sweater that's pretty cool a couple of other pieces that he's gotten. He also has that new Kanye West jacket. I saw him with the Kanye West Gap jacket. The Haverford Famous at this point, <laughs> Donda jacket. I'm not gonna lie, not a big fan of that jacket, but you know, his fit was good. He pulled it off, so. Sneakers used to be like my main piece. And uh, then I realized that sneakers don't fucking last long. <laughs> and so um, jackets are kind of those pieces that I feel like can represent the identity of, of like a designer or a brand or something like the most, and also last the longest. This is another piece I got on Facebook Marketplace. It was like 20 bucks. It's a Swiss made ski, uh, no, snowmobile racing jacket. St. Louis Browns um, 
jacket. It's it's like a replica of a 1945 jacket made by Mitchell and Ness. Then I have over here, this is the jacket that just came with my motorcycle. It's just a Triumph jacket. Um, this is a jacket by, I forgot the brand, but it was some um, southern guy. Um, it's like relatively famous. It's made in Italy. This jacket was worn in James Bond and Skyfall by James Bond. Let me see if I have anything else. I just have like some denim jackets. Um, I have a leather jacket here. And just a few other raincoats. Um, so that's it. Yeah. If I if I want like a specific piece from a specific era of a specific designer, I would want like the jacket. That kind of represents everything as a whole. Um, and also, I think the first like piece of clothing that got me into fashion was a jacket. So I was like kind of progressing from there, so. Yeah, I just, I just really like um, the, the creativity or, or, or almost like the freedom I have when picking out outfits. When I think of fashion, I think of clothing, I think of like my family, I think of like what I represent and like I'm proud of like that type of of like where my family comes from. I really enjoy my feminine sense of style. I think it's super fun and you know it's a way of expressing kind of like my queerness in a way that's unique to me. You really can just buy whatever clothes you want, wear whatever you want, you know, because like everything else in the world is decided by other people but what you put on your back is decided by you every day. So yeah.